guys, I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, and I'd like to show you how we're going to do this today. These are salt and pepper shakers that I made out of glass olive jars. For today's project, I'm going to be using the Martha Stewart multi-surface paint. I prefer to use these small rollers to apply the paint. It seems to go on much more evenly than if I use the sponge brush, but we'll also need a sponge, bu sponge brush. If you don't have the rollers, it's okay to use the sponge brushes to paint. We'll need some decoupage glue. We're going to need a hammer and a nail, a nail file, and possibly some sanding paper some decorative napkins and you want the decorative napkins to match either your decor or the holiday that you'd like to make the salt and pepper shakers for. We're going to need, this is just a junk magazine, it's kind of thick, along with our saran wrap. We'll need some raffia scissors, two tall thin glass jars and I'm using jars that had olives in them and you can find them all over the grocery store normally in the condiment aisle and here's the first thing we'll do in order to get need to do in order to get started now I'm using this Martha Stewart multi-surface paint in the satin and I'm doing this on Wednesday even though I don't make my videos until Thursday because you want to put the paint, the painted item aside and let it dry for one hour and then according to the website for these Martha Stewart paints you can put this in a cold oven set, you set the oven for 350 and once it reaches 350 you leave your painted glass item in there for 30 minutes Now you would want to do this either a day earlier or if you can remember first thing in the morning. I took the lids and filled them with ice because we're going to need to put holes in heaps so the ice makes it nice and strong and I'm just taking a nail and I'm going to hammer some holes in here. I have an old catalog down so that there's a nice flat surface and when the nail goes through here, just in case it goes right through the ice, I don't want it to go into my countertop. So you can see there I made an S, but it did not dent our lid and the P, I kind of slipped a little bit with the nail. Now I'm going to dry these off and then we're also going to paint these. So here are the glass jars the following day. I put them in the oven and let them dry in the oven, let the oven cool down rather, and then I took them out and here's how they now look. And we want to decoupage the sections of the napkin and for this project I want a very straight line I'm going to lay this saran wrap down so what I'm going to do is put decoupage glue all around the jar And I'm not covering the area up here because we're going to need to put the lid on and when you screw it on and off it would just ruin your work. Now I'm going to make sure that the napkin is straight as I place this down. Make sure it's right side up by the way, your pattern. And I'm pulling the napkin around. 
but I want to take this saran wrap and pull the saran wrap so that it smooths out any wrinkles, your fingers aren't touching the paint, you aren't going to pull any of the napkin away. And with any excess that you have left over, you can just cut that away. Since the napkin is very delicate right now, I'm not going to paint the decoupage glue on. I'm just going to dab it lightly right under where I have a little bit of excess left over. Then just pat it down. And I'm going to pat these ends at the top and the bottom because I want to make sure those are secure. I'm going to put this aside to dry and I'm going to do the second one now. If you notice like I did that it's really hard to get this bottom exactly flush, straight with the edge of your glass, then all you need to do is just do a little patchwork. Take pieces of the napkin and usually there's a pattern or like this background design. You can just put a little decoupage glue there on the bottom, tear away what you don't need. I'm just adding the second coat of decoupage glue over this. If you've got any leftover edges like this, you can use a nail file to just go right along the edge. These are all dry now and I'm going to take them outside and spray my top coat on. Alrighty, my top coat is dry. I added a little raffia around the top there and you can see that I have the S and P so that we know which one is the salt, which one is the pepper. You may want to use two different but similar napkins to distinguish if it's rough to get that S and P in there. For today, that is our project. Make a nice little hostess gift, or you'll just have some very unique salt and pepper shakers for your own table the next time you have some company over. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Thank you again for subscribing. Please email me if you've got any questions. I will be back next week with another video. You can hear my doggies going a little wild in the background. My husband just got home just in time for me to finish the video. <laughs> and I hope you had fun. I can't wait to use these and I will see you next week. Thanks again guys. Bye bye.